Enough of all that, I'm gonna show you guys the ease of the boot mode flash. Now, the boot mode flash being a ECU tune, you have two options. You can, you obviously need an OBD to Ethernet. Now you have two options, you can use a, a laptop, uh, whether it be Mac or PC, you can use a laptop, it, um, or you can use a cell phone. So if you, know, if you have an iPhone or Android tablet, anything of that nature, you just need a OBD agent. So you need something that you can plug the Ethernet into and broadcast over Wi-Fi in order for these devices to pick them up. Now you can get one off of Protune and Freaks uh, for about like 250 bucks. But in all honesty, I think there are cheaper options out there, whether it be you just go buy a tablet dedicated for that. If you buy a tablet dedicated for uh, Protune and Freaks or Blue Motor, whatever, it doesn't have to be dedicated, you just go out and buy a tablet like a Windows tablet with an Ethernet port, I guess that would like the surfaces or something like that. I'm not sure. I think they range around like 200, 300 bucks. You can get a, um, a dongle that will go to the USB. So, with that being said, I mean, I think the cheaper option would be to get another tablet. I'm just letting you guys know the options that are out there. Now, it's a cloud-based uh, tuning platform or interface. So, you just need to type in the website. So, I'm going to So, I'll show you guys. You just go... Uh, you're gonna go online. So I guess you go to bootmode3.net. See, this is without connecting it to the OBD agent. So we're just gonna go off, go over the interface, cause it's not, my VIN will be right up at the top. I don't wanna show you guys my VIN either, but we're gonna go to menu. Now in menu, you have different things. You have the vehicle, obviously it's it's a red. Let me see if I can focus. Can it focus? Okay. Obviously you can see there's a red light uh, next to the vehicle because it's not connected. You have your dashboard. So dashboard gives you, oh uh, crap, it's not, okay, here, here basically. Sorry. The dashboard gives you all of these little features, and it would be, it would be in the form of gauges. So you can, you have, there's like tons and tons of ones you can pick, but you can do like a transmission oil temp, ambient uh, temp, a boost, boost pressure target, coolant temp, engine torque calculator, engine speed, gearbox temp. You get, you get the point. It's like almost every parameter of this car you can uh, check and adjust. You can go in here. You can set to what you want to activate and these are the things that I have activated you can set those that's pretty much that we go back and data logs I don't think I have any data logs in here no data logs found I haven't data logged my car diagnostic this is very cool you can um, read the trouble codes with well, whether the check-in light is on or off you can read the trouble codes uh, reset le uh, learn adaptations reset I think that's more so for learning you know uh, like I kind of developing custom shift points or you know the, the car can kind of figure out what kind of driver you are and set the parameters to I guess coincide with your driving style you know uh, exhaust valve actuation is exactly what it says you have open close or auto you want the exhaust closed all the time open or auto which is OEM active sound I'm not sure if my vehicle has active sound but in order to get the burbles you have to disable active sound and you have the DME, you have the DME ECU functions, which means, yeah, I'm good. I'm just filming a video. <laughs> oh no, it's all good. It's all good, man. Um, you have DME ECU functions, which I guess DME reset and read, which I don't even touch. So we're gonna go to my maps. Now these are the two maps that I have currently. Obviously the stock tune, whenever I wanna reflash the stock. Whenever you wanna take it to a dealership, let me just get this out of the way to flash back to stock and relock the DME so it deletes all the tuner codes and everything. You can go ahead and press stock tune up there in the, the corner. However, if you want to run a stock tune with the DME still unlocked, you could just bam, stock tune on the top and stage 293 octane aggressive. Now, when you click on it, it will tell you what the recommended hardware is. They recommend that you run a front mount and a cooler 
and a high flow downpipe. Now, while I will be here to say it's not absolutely necessary to flash your car to stage two that you need these things, you definitely, definitely, definitely wanna, you know, uh, kind of follow their guide because they know what they're talking about. I have a high flow downpipe, but I do not have the front mount intercooler and my car heat soaks within the second pull. So I would say follow these recommended hardware guides to the T. And if you are running an N55 motor or anything similar to that, definitely consider upgrading your charge pipe. That should be up in here because like I said, my charge pipe lasted a block. Now we can go to config and this is where it gets a little fun. Now it has beta testing. Now you have the exhaust verbal type. You can have custom, you know, anything you want. Now we're gonna just go over here. Now this is the duration, how long you want the burbles. Now I have mine in half a second for comfort and a second and a half for sport aggression is turned all the way up because I want the loud bang. However, I only want it for a short period of time. Now these are minimum maximum speeds that you want the burbles to show and minimum maximum RPMs that you want the burbles to, to uh, activate. Next thing on the list, we have cold start. Now, if you have a catalyst downpipe, you can go ahead and turn that off because what basically it does is when it when you cold start your car and it revs up loud, it's basically heating up the O2 sensors or the cat to get it to optimal, to getting to operating temperatures uh, quickly so that the vehicle wouldn't run so rich, burn a lot of gas, and you know damage some things. Cold start RPM, I have that at OEM because I have my cold start off anyway. I have no catalytic converter. Pre-throttle TMAP sensor and manifold TMAP sensor, uh, I have not changed either one of those, so I will keep that at the OEM. You can go in and adjust that. I think it's a 3.5 bar. That's if you want to run the, let me see, yep, 3.5 bar. That's if you want to run the N20 TMAP sensor because the N20 puts out a little more boost uh, being at the four-cylinder. Uh, if you so, if you want to, you know, go in those 20, 22 psi, 24 psi uh, boost boost levels, you need to uh, purchase the 3.5 bar T-MAP sensor. Then you have the exhaust flap and sport. Obviously, it's open. Speed limiter VMAX. I turned that off, so it does not stop at 155 mile an hour now. I do not know what it stops at because I haven't pushed my car that fast. And the catalytic monitors. If you're running catalyst downpipe, you need to select that off because it doesn't check. Now, the last thing we have, and it's probably one of the most important if you're running really high horsepower situations in a rear wheel drive platform like myself. Now, I have boost by gear taken off and I just let my car slip out a little bit. However, when you wanna go full sand and you want your car to grip better, you know, better traction, you can set it to a custom boost by gear. Now what that does is it reduces the amount of boost. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It reduces the amount of boost and a percentage reduction to where first gear, it lowers the boost a little bit, second gear lowers the boost, just so you can be able, you'll be able to catch traction. You can floor the vehicle full sand and it will not slip out because it's not pushing as much boost as in third and fourth and fifth gear. And when you get in those higher gears, the vehicle is less likely to go ahead and step out on you so you can just full sand, full boost. And that is it at the end you have save changes let me go back out of the maps now here are the off-the-shelf maps that you can purchase now it comes now you can get the stage zero plus the m2 calibration for free you know you have the stage one 93 stage 2 91 93 and here we get down to the fun stuff now this would be the stage 2 or e30 octane which is suggested for 30 percent ethanol so if you guys don't know that is 30 percent ethanol like E85, if you guys aren't familiar with E85, this is like an E85 tune, 30%. It's not 30% of E85, because E85 is 85% of ethanol, but you get the point. Um, being at the fact that most gases on the East Coast have 15% ethanol in it, you can kind of go ahead and put 30% of E85 in it, because it 15% in the gas and 85% in the pump, the E85 pump will kind of give you 100%. So that'd be 30%, if you guys follow what I'm saying. Now, that's for the E30 tune, 30% ethanol. Obviously, uh, ethanol burns a lot cooler, so you're gonna have a lot more uh, boosting. You can have a lot higher boost. And they have the last but not least, stage two race gas. Now, stage two race gas, I think it's pretty much the same. It just ups the boost a little bit, but I have not yet experienced those because I'm not that, I only had the car for a couple weeks and I haven't delved into those. Now, what I would say is now that one map that I have, the stage two aggressive, what came with the software however the for 150 dollars more you can get all the rest of these just 150 dollars will give you all the map packs this is free i might just get this just because it's free uh stage zero two i guess the m2 tuning and pretty much that's pretty much it you can do tune requests if you want like a pro tune or something like that you know you could pay different tuners and i think you can select the tuners here 
you could pay these different tuners and they will go ahead and I would say like uh, like street dyno tune, I mean street tune your car so you send them a log, I guess map three, I mean gear three, revving all the way up to red line and there you go. You have transmission, this is for the GT, uh, this is for the M vehicles where it has the DCT, you have the M3, M4 and M2 DCT, you have the transmission flash the GTS and that pretty much sums up the boot mode app and you know, do I recommend it? Yes, 100%. It's like leaps and bounds over the uh, JB4. You got a lot more customization. You get the purples, whatever you want. And that's pretty much it. This wraps up this video showing you guys the exhaust clips and letting you guys take a tour around the boot mode flash. Now, I'm gonna get out of here, sitting down, enjoying this, letting it up. Uh, and the car cool down a bit so I can have some more fun. I thank you guys for watching this video and be sure to subscribe, like, share this video if people want to know what boot mode is like. Alright, so we out of here.